Hey you guys, so I'm back at it again, another advice. Oh my god, I need to go on Instagram, but I just don't be feeling like it, y'all. Y'all just don't know. And that's that's a message within itself. We like we don't even have time to do the things that we want because we keep living for others and we keep doing things that we know in our spirit and in our heart that God is telling us if you stop doing this and you focus on the main goal at hand you will get what you want but the problem is you don't have enough belief and faith in me to bring you your needs and your desires so you're going to keep working for this system even though i keep telling you to stop working for this system and work for yourself and that's why you don't like working because you have never really put in the time and effort to work on yourself but you keep putting in the time and effort to work on this system and, and that's the problem like <laughs> He didn't have to tear into me like that. But I hope I'm tearing into you because I am where you are, okay? Because I am you and you are me. But anyhow, but it's just like stop working at other people's system and slow down. Like it's time for us slow down. It's time for you to slow down, come back to center with self and understand what you want to do and how you want to live. But also for you to recharge. We have been in such a survival mode within ourselves that we need to learn how to get out of that and we need to learn how to live our life for real. Like God is telling me it's time for stillness. It's time for you to be in stillness. I know you're used to being busy and I know you're used to being sad or depressed and I know you're used to being emotional and just surviving, but it's no more, you no more need that. You have all the knowledge in the world to do what you need to do. So it's about, are you going to change up your habits? Are you going to change up your belief system? Or are you going to start believing in everything and doing what you have been putting in your mindset because it's now about your actions reflecting your belief system because if your actions doesn't reflect your belief system, then it's not correlating because a positive and a negative only creates a negative, but a positive and a positive creates a positive. It's an electrons. <laughs> That's the only thing I remember out of biology. <laughs> but anyhow, we don't talk about that. It's not about me, but it is about me. <laughs> but it's just like, when are you going to come in? Two, 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 as I'm going to say this. When are you going to come into center with yourself? When are you going to allow the, the chips to fall where they may? Like, when are you going to allow spirit to take over control? Spirit is your masculine energy, and you're supposed to be the feminine energy. And when he tells you to do, that's when you want to be in your masculine energy. But a lot of the times, spirit is going to bring you what you want. And all you have to do is just pray about it and sit within that inner knowing. And know that death becomes before rebirth. So if stuff is getting destroyed, you better get fucking happy about it because that means god is on your side and god is moving things around it's blocking you so you can become the person that you always were meant to be